These days, people seem to be obsessed with the idea that if you just change your vibe, your life will change. Now, unfortunately, this just simply is not true. Now, in this video, I wanna share the results of coaching hundreds of people one-on-one -on -one and what I've seen works and what doesn't. What's up, you guys? Alex Hine here over at Modern Health Monk. So before we jump in, I've put together a free seven-day self-growth challenge. It's the first link right below this video. You'll get an email every day on how to do a specific habit that will change your life in a very specific way. So you guys can check it out right below this video, the first link. You know, everyone seems to be obsessed on the internet right now with changing your vibe, as if it is the only, just the singular thing that makes the difference in living a better life. Well, I've coached hundreds of people one-to-one, -one, and I've coached probably thousands in group settings at this point. And I can recall one story of a woman that I was coaching who was about 26. She was having sort of a breakdown moment where she was saying that, you know, she's been working hard, and working smart, doing everything to change her vibe on a daily basis and raise her vibration. And she was no closer to finding love after three years. She had gotten a little fitter, but still didn't have her dream body, still was working the job that she didn't love, and in general wasn't feeling very happy with her progress in life. She shared it, number one, because she was feeling sorry for herself, but also she shared it because I was her coach and she wanted to see if I could help deconstruct maybe where the breakdown was. And what I found that for her, as I found for almost every one of the people I've coached, the breakdown is not usually in the philosophy. The breakdown is usually in the pragmatic aspects of doing things daily. What I find is that most of us really are not doers. And that is almost always the breakdown. Yes, you may truly have limiting beliefs and mental barriers, and you may be so depressed or so doubtful that anything will happen that you don't take any action. Sure, raising your vibe will improve things in that scenario. But what I find for most of us the breakdown is, is that we don't take even one hour a day of action congruent with the kind of person we wanna become or action congruent with the kind of outcome that we wanna have. Very often, the breakdown is not in not raising your vibe or doing some inner work. The breakdown is that you're just not doing any of the work or not enough of it. So. Raising your vibe is only one piece of the puzzle. I'm not here to shit on this idea of raising your vibe and say that it's stupid or useless. It's useful, but it is not the only piece. And I find that in my experience, it's not the most important piece. So let's say for example, when raising your vibe doesn't work, let's, let's break it down, right? Let's say what you're trying to do is find love and you just visualize the feeling of being love, the person and how you feel around them and what you want the experience to be like but you change nothing about your daily habits or your daily rituals, right? You don't meet new people on a daily basis and you continue not to meet new people because you just work and go home. You haven't changed your attitude at all. And so next time you meet someone who's decent, they're kind of on the fence about you. You haven't tried to expand your social circle to increase the chances of serendipity. And so you don't meet any new people. What are the chances you're gonna find love? Probably not very likely. Let's say what you're trying to do is earn more money. So. You do your raising your vibe exercises. You believe it's possible. You visualize it. You feel it. What does it feel like to earn $80,000 at my job now? You see what that would do to change your life, how you would feel day to day, but you don't do anything day to day. You don't acquire any new skills in your job. You don't ever ask for a raise. You don't ever apply for new jobs. What are the chances that your new job is going to happen? And that raise? My opinion, not very likely. And let's say what you're trying to do is build a successful business. So every day, you feel the feelings of being a successful person, you visualize it, you can see the clients and the added income and the people you're helping, and you see your new daily schedule, but you don't actually change anything day to day about your habits, and you don't actually take a new business course, hire a coach, put in an extra hour a day to acquire new valuable skills. So what are the chances that, let's say a year from now, you have a six-figure business? I don't think it's very likely. There's an addiction to what's easy, but when you really look at most high performers, yes, they're doing some things that are easy, but they're also either doing them or paying other people to do things that are not so easy. So I think the doing is the most important part of getting the life that you want. And unpopular opinion, I don't think raising your vibe is the most useful way to change your life at all. I think it's easy, I think it's convenient, I think it's People just like things that are easy. So what I think is more useful is raising your daily action instead of raising your vibe. Think about like Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant. 
Think about sports athletes, even violinists, right? Pianists. A lot of the time, those people have that vibe of I'm the shit, I can do this, I'm the best there is. Not because they started off with that, but because they earned that through the action. It's the reverse, right? They went out there, they did 10,000 shots, 10,000 free throws a day, 1,000 layups, the dribbling drills. The violinists are doing hours of excruciating solo practice every single day. I mean, Anders Ericsson, the researcher behind the 10,000 hour rule, solo practice is often viewed as the single most strongest correlator with expert performance and is often the least liked. I'm not saying that becoming great or building a great life has to suck, but I am saying we should look at the facts first. These people develop that confidence, not because they just had the confidence immediately on day one, right? How are you gonna have confidence if you suck at something? But because they did the work and as their life improved, they gained confidence. And as that kept going, they got more confidence to keep improving their life, this positive snowball effect. To me, you should be tracking your congruency with your daily habits and not necessarily just your vibe alone. If your goal is to find love, let's say, instead of just doing a raise your vibe exercise, why not track how many social engagements you go to on a daily, weekly basis that are new? New rooms, you might meet new people and make new friends and find someone at a higher rate than normal. That would be more useful to track at finding love than just raising your vibe alone. Or what about you pick up a new hobby and you go salsa dancing twice a week? Or you decide that you're gonna ask one new acquaintance or loose social tie to go out and get a cup of coffee or dinner. And then you're gonna expand your social circle. That to me is a lot more scientifically predictable to help you find someone you love than these other exercises. If money's the thing you wanna work on, rather than just sitting down and trying to raise your vibe or doing a journaling exercises, why not take a business class? Why not dedicate an hour a day towards freelancing and starting to build a real business? Why not actually take some time to acquire new skills at your current job by doing a certification than actually applying for a raise in three months at that job or even applying for a new job? Tracking your elevated daily action is a lot more likely to help you reach that goal than anything internally or immaterially that you do. And in the same way, if you wanna build a successful business or a YouTube channel or write a book, why not track how many hours a day did I put into really building that business that was action? Not studying, not research, not watching Gary Vee, but how many hours did I build and create? That is the kind of action that leads to designing and building an incredible life that actually ends up happening a year from now or three years from now. So in my opinion, raising your vibe, not the most useful way to change your life. Raising your action and being congruent about that daily, that's the most useful way to do it. And that's what you should focus on on a daily basis. All right guys, download that free seven day self-growth challenge to get started with all this stuff. And I'll see you in the next video over here.